Now we're going to go to the bottom of the card now because earlier on in the season we looked at this side and they did really well for us. But now they just they are messing about. Rayo Vallecano versus the Yellow Submarine, which is Villa Real. Uh, Vallecano at plus three sixty five. Villa Real minus one thirty. Wow, that would have been minus two ten a few weeks ago. Mm. Draw is at plus two eighty. The under over is at two and a half, with the under being at minus one one five. Uh, Pavlos, they these two are not even in the same league when it comes yeah. to quality. Villarreal, they must get a win here. And at minus one thirty, I'm I'm thinking that's a parlay piece. Yeah, true. Because you know Villarreal, now that they're done with the Champions League, they really need to focus on uh, getting some results at the end of the season because they're really really close, just one point away from not playing European soccer next season. So it's really, really uh, going to be a disaster for this Villarreal side who have been quite impressive this season. And, um, you know, they uh, they really need the win. And uh, Vallecano don't. So, uh, I mean, I know Vallecano, they got, got a couple of draws, a couple of wins, really hard to beat lately, but their job is done. So, uh, and they're not, you know, the flashiest of teams. And uh, their defense at home has been quite solid. I mean, they don't really get destroyed by anyone. Uh, they've only considered multiple goals on just a couple of occasions. But, uh, I mean, the Yaral, they haven't been very good on the road either. But this is a match where you just see what the Yaral want, they need it. See what uh, Rayo want, they don't need it. So you just automatically go to any type of bet uh, for Villarreal. Just any type of bet is good here. I just don't see them getting a draw. I don't see them getting beat. But uh, yeah, so getting Villarreal money line, Villarreal and under something. Because I'm not really sure they're going to you know, pop out and score like five goals on, on this, Villarreal, on this uh, Vallecano side. So probably like a 1-2 something like that, 2-1 two, two, um, uh, or 2-0 win for, for Villarreal. Just not, not, I don't see that many goals, but uh, you know, Villarreal is, just have to take this win. You know, the biggest um, advantage for us looking at this game, Roman, is that uh, Rayo Vallecano play exactly how Villarreal would love an opponent to play. They just go forward. They just bomb and Villarreal can pick them off if they're on a concentration day. Um, do you think both teams do score, though? Because otherwise, Villarreal minus one is good, but Villarreal and both teams to score is a lot better. Look at that. Villarreal minus half at minus 130. But if you look at all the alternate lines, you're looking at maybe Villarreal. I believe if they score twice, they win. And over one and a half of Villarreal is at minus 110. Villarreal at minus 175. Everything tells me that this game's going over two and a half at minus 105 or Villarreal are guaranteed to win. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, I'm going to go down, I think, the safer way, which, be, which would be a money line for Villarreal because, I mean, uh, after that really intense performance against Liverpool, especially that first half where they gave it everything, I wasn't really sure if they'd had the energy to, to fight against Sevilla, you know, but they were, they were much better than, than Sevilla. They deserved the win. Uh, they were very unlucky at the end because the corner kick, you know, gave, gave them uh, gave Sevilla the opportunity to get the draw, but they deserved the three points. And honestly, they still haven't lost their hope for qualifying to Europa League because we're talking about a team that won the Europa League and that just got to the Champions League semi-final. So I don't really see them playing Conference League. They're not a Conference League side. They need to uh, get um, higher up in the standings and they need to qualify at least for the Europa League next season. And they're going to go out for it. And I know it's going to going to be that way because we saw it against Sevilla, Villarreal where really dominant, really generating, really dangerous. And I, I think uh, against a team like Rayo, as you said, that likes to go forward, they're going to find those spaces. And even though uh, we still don't know whether it's that Juma or Gerard Moreno uh, are going to be available, despite that, uh, they didn't have them either last uh, game against Sevilla and they were still very good going offensively. Lo Celso has been fantastic. And they have uh, Chukwes, who's also a very good player going forward. And we know that Parejo in that midfield uh, helps to generate a lot. So honestly... Um, I'm not sure. I think it's very likely that both teams get on the score sheet, but uh, I think that at the end of the day, Villarreal uh, will get the win because they need it desperately and Rayo really aren't fighting for anything at this stage. Yeah, totally agree. Minus 130, Villarreal. And by the way, Villarreal got in the Conference League. I'll be looking at probably the only side that enters that Conference League from, obviously, uh, the Premier League. Villarreal will probably be favourites from the word mm. go. And I yeah. would have a piece of that in the futures. Because no, no one joins the Conference mm -hmm. League, do they? Does that? Does anyone come out of the Europa League and go into the Conference League, or how does that work? 
I'm not sure, actually. I don't think so. But yeah, I can't exactly. FIFA, your FIFA don't even know. <laughs> they just make it up as they go along. Let's have a little look at the official pick here, because it's got to be Villarreal or nothing, surely. Let's have a little look. Yep, Villarreal, money line, minus 130. <laughs>